Hello everyone, my name is Carol and this is Winter Haven Wisdom. I am here with you today on Monday, day after Mother's Day, and it's a oh, pretty nice day here. In and out sun, blue sky, fluffy white clouds, birds flying all around, singing. I wonder if you can hear them in the background here. Maybe a lawnmower or two as well. Um, the sun has finally returned here. Not seeing it too much these days here in the Northeast. So it's a nice change when you wake up in the morning and you see the sunshine. So this will be a daily tarot reading for the collective. I hope everyone had a lovely Mother's Day. All right, spirit guides, what does the collective need to know today on Monday? of the deck is view from above get the big picture in your life see the big picture are you missing something are you not seeing things clearly right now okay We have unknown territory. You are exactly where you need to be. So I hope that that can be some reassurance for someone that you're on the right path, you're in the right location, you're doing everything in the right way. And maybe you're manifesting or waiting for something to come in, but you're exactly where you need to be. Choosing your path, all is possible. Whatever you want to do, just take that first step. Step out into the world in the way you want to be. Miracles. Expect the wondrous to emerge in your life. So maybe it's time for your manifestation to come in. If you've been working on something, you're on a goal, you're on a path, you're, you're trying to reach for something. You may have some opportunities coming in or something you weren't expecting. The wondrous indeed. Um, wise leader, you are a beacon for others. So as you step into your power, um, into these leadership abilities you have, you are a beacon of light. You are someone that emerges and guides others on their journeys. Crossing bridges. It's time for healing, mending, releasing, and connecting. Okay, so this is a healing journey you may be on and you may be at a point where you're releasing energies. Maybe you're going to be connecting with somebody, mending situations, all that type of thing. Maybe somebody's going to meet you on the bridge of this. Okay. Rainbow blessings. Blessings are pouring into your life. And I'm sure many mother around the world um, yesterday felt uh, blessed beyond belief. I know as a mother, I certainly felt blessed yesterday to have my family around me and, and just realize the blessings that they are in your life, right? And fogged in. Go slow and take time, okay? There's no need to rush. Take your time, and when we go slow, um, we avoid pitfalls that we might fall into when we're acting too hastily or moving too quickly, okay? So take your time, take thoughtful action um, in your life. All right, some interesting energies we have here this morning. We'll take um, the good tarot and see what comes out here. I have said my prayer and called in my spirit guides, of course. Feeling a real energy of anticipation here for someone.
Okay, quick look here and we have one, two major arcana cards. In the center of our spread we have the seven of pentacles and this is an energy of someone that's manifesting, right? They're putting their all and everything they have into something they want and when we manifest, remember we have to do the work, we have to take the um, disciplined actions in our life and when we do our part the universe responds. In our opening position we have the hanged man and this is an energy of someone that's taking some time to do some reflection on their life, the point that they're at, um, where they're at, what they're doing, how they're perceiving situations. Okay, may, and maybe it's time for uh, to see the bigger picture or get a new perspective on your situation. Then we have the Two of Pentacles. And this is an energy of someone going back and forth. Um, you know, do I continue doing what I'm doing? Do I do something else? Do I go in this direction or that direction? Um, that type of an energy. And then we have the Eight of Pentacles. And this is perhaps about the work someone's doing. Maybe they're getting a different perspective on the work they're doing. And maybe they realize they might need to do something else in life. Or maybe they're passionate about their path they're on and they're thinking, how can I continue to do this? Is this meeting all my needs in life? Um, do I need to consider something else? So I'm feeling a real process energy here. Someone today is really thinking about their situation, I think. Then we have the Ace of Wands here, this is an opportunity of passion and creativity. This could be the path you're on currently that you're manifesting in your life. And you feel driven by this call to do this action. You feel aligned and you've stepped into your purpose in life. And maybe this purpose is being a, a, a wise leader and a guide for other people on their journeys. Okay. And maybe this is what the toss-up is here about this work. We have the Eight of Cups, and this is an energy of walking away from anything that's broken or any kind of loss in your life and going towards the sun, your happiness, what brings you joy. And then we have the Eight of Wands. This is about communication coming in, fast energies. Um, you might be on a fast track right now in your life. Um, you may have some information coming in that will help you. Um, you may be in the flow of energies right now and you're moving quickly. And then we have the Two of Cups. And that's a, like a soul connection of some kind that's here for you. Or this can mean that you're balanced in your feminine and masculine energies. And you're in a place of, of self-love. And that's beautiful. Two extra cards that came out is the Queen of Cups. And she is the most love in the tarot deck, right? She's abundant, unconditional love, nurturing care, compassion, understanding, often very um, intuitive and even psychic. Um, just a powerhouse of love. And under that, we have the Page of Wands. So this could be a message coming in um, around passion and creativity, um, desire, those types of energies here for someone. Okay. So... We have 222 two, two out here, and we have three eights, 888. Eight, eight. Um, we have the Eight of Cups, the Eight of Wands, and the Eight of Pentacles out. So we are missing the Eight of Swords, and sometimes when an, uh, a number is missing, like that Eight of Swords energy is probably the missing piece here and eight of swords is really someone overthinking a situation worried um 
anxious about how things are going to uh, work out in their life and um, spirit saying you're okay you're on the right path here just go slow and take your time anything is possible on this path you're on Maybe you're coming to a point of real expansion in your life, in your career path. Okay. So now I'm going to take the light sears and we'll clarify some of this and see if we can't get a good handle on what's going on here. Okay, Spirit, can you tell me about the hanged man? Yes, you can. <laughs> That's the um, Knight of Swords. This is truth and honesty coming in fast and erratic. Or this could be a past energy of someone that came in fast, was, a, was fast and erratic. Maybe you're trying to get some new perspective on that. <laughs> Wish fulfillment is here. Um, and this is like a dream come true, right? This is your ultimate happiness. And then we have the King of Pentacles, a grounded, um, nurturing, kind leader, um, protector, reliable, dependable person. Okay, Spirit, tell me about the Two of Pentacles. What are we... You know, that could be someone just tossing everyday life around too trying to stay in balance right maybe that's the energy here maybe staying in balance around the work they're doing tell me about the two of pentacles please the two of pentacles is the empress and we get the Seven of Wands, so this is a spiritual energy, somebody in a spiritual bubble, staying protected, doing their work within this protection, knowing they have it. Okay. Tell me about the Eight of Pentacles, please. Eight of Pentacles is judgment. Someone looking at their situation and judging it. Is this what's right for me? Should I be doing this? Is this practical in my situation? And then we have the Page of Pentacles here, a beginner on a path to earn, produce pentacles in their life, abundance. Tell me about the Ace of Wands here. We have the King of Wands here. He is a passionate, magnetic, um, often a someone working in a creative field, an artist. Um, you know, a King of Wands walks in a room and you kind of notice them. They're fiery, passionate, um, driven by their creativity. And he's here with some an opportunity of some kind. He's standing in his strength right now. Tell me more about this Ace of Wands, please, Spirit. And he's getting some illumination right now. He's seeing the light on some situations in his life. Um, he's getting clearer. He's knowing what makes him happy, what lights up his world. Tell me about the Seven of Pentacles. What are we? 
so passionately manifesting here. We have the Page of Wands here. This is a fiery, uh, passionate beginner in some area, somebody driven by passion and creativity and out delivering that message. So you could have a message around something coming in from someone. Maybe you've been manifesting this. We have the magician, somebody transmuting energies, alchemizing energies, using the elemental energies around them to manifest what they want into their life. And then the five of swords, right? That up in your head, um, annoyed, frustrated, angry. Maybe you're arguing with people, you're upset, you're trying to get clarity. You've got people in your head talking to you. Maybe you're getting pressure from spirit. Um, and this can be you or somebody attached to you right here going through this energy. And then we have the call, answering the call. Um, so what's happening here? We have the lovers, and this is... Uh, uh, connection, right? Uh, two people that came together at one point. Are, is this a new connection? Is this a choice in love for someone? A choice to reach out to somebody? And then we have the Nine of Swords, somebody um, having a difficult time with some energies and really just wanting to release something. Keeps them up at night. They're maybe regretful about some actions they took or didn't take in their life. Tell me about the Eight of Cups. Eight of Cups, please, Spirit. Okay. The Eight of Cups is the Emperor, and this is somebody that's uh, walking towards their happiness. They're leaving behind this Five of Pentacles, feeling abandoned, left out, forgotten. And some divine timing might be coming in here. And they're in the Four of Cups. They're a little bit sad here. They can't get past this sadness in their life. Tell me about the Eight of Wands. What's this fast energy coming in? Justice. And this is about um, things getting more balanced in your life. Things being fair and above board. Maybe uh, um, things are going to get easier and nicer for you. And then we have the Knight of Cups here, and this is someone that comes in and offers their love. And right now they're in the Three of Swords. Their heart is broken, and maybe they want to bring some justice to a broken-hearted situation. Tell me about the Two of Cups. It's the Page of Swords. This is an energy of somebody that could be um, seeking information on you, checking out your social media pages, following you. Um, if this is somebody you've had a past relationship with, they could be looking through your pictures, talking to your friends. Um, maybe they're thinking about reaching out to you in some way. But they are keeping tabs on you. What else about the Two of Cups? Somebody's in a tower here. Wow. Okay, tell me about the tower. Excuse me, <laughs> fell on the floor. Mm. Okay. Then we 
we have the Three of Wands here. This is the Tower energy. The Three of Wands, somebody waiting to receive their manifestation. They're waiting for the universe to bring them all that they've been asking for. What else about the Tower, please, Spirit? It's the Three of Pentacles. Um, this is an energy of... Three of Cups, excuse me. This is an energy of friendship. Um, friends getting together and celebrating. Um, it could indicate some communication coming in. We have an Ace of Pentacles here. This is an opportunity, an offer of some kind that will come in with this tower. The Ten of Pentacles is here. This is a long-term commitment, a long-term offer, something like that. And it's an offer of reciprocal energies in your life. Equal give and take, this justice that might be coming in for you. Um, a long-term reciprocal situation. Tell me about the Queen of Cups. Why is our Queen of Cups here today? What's her energy? She is also the Queen of Swords. She knows what she wants and she will not tolerate anything less than what she wants in her life. And she is in the reversed hanged man here. Wow. So she really knows what she wants. Tell me about the Page of Wands. That's the Four of Swords in reversed. So we're not healing our heart anymore. That's over. We've conquered that. Uh, what more about the Page of Wands? the page of wands please spirit that's the queen of cups again so she's made up her mind I'm, I'm thinking about her who she loves who she wants to be with and she's healed her heart in the process Okay, tell me about the Nine of Cups. We're going to go around and clarify a little bit more here for you. Tell me about the Nine of Cups, Spirit. That's the Three of Pentacles, a wish come true to work with somebody, to build something, accomplish something, collaborate. And you might be doing this with a King of Pentacles. Tell me about the Empress, please. The Empress has moon energy right now, so she's doing some deep thinking um, with her emotions. She's going deep, and she's trying to figure things out for herself. And there might be some mysteries or some hidden things she can't see. And then we have the Devil, and this is probably some fears that are cropping up on her in some way. Tell me a little more about the devil here. We do have the full moon at the end of the month. Tell me about the devil, please. What is this energy? Hmm. 
Yep, it's fears, that eight of swords energy, that up in the head, the overthinking, the worry, right? Okay. Tell me about the sun, please. The Hierophant. Um, this is a commitment, um, a spiritual energy. This King of Wands is thinking about commitment and getting clearer on it. They want to communicate something. This is going to be a faster moving energy. Maybe spiritual downloads, communication coming in. And then we have the Hermit. Somebody that goes within to figure things out. Um, is often a healer and kind of uh, lights the way for other people to heal. Tell me about the lovers, please. That's the Ten of Cups. Happiness there. Tell me about the star. That's the five of cups. What else about the star? The four of pentacles, somebody's careful with their energy. Tell me about justice, please. It's the chariot, balanced forward movement. So your justice is moving forward, moving away from the situation, which is clearly what you're doing, walking away from this broken-hearted situation. And you're being strong and courageous, and spirit is helping you with that energy. Pentacles. You're on a, a path to earn pentacles. Um, you're staying committed to that path. You're moving slowly on it, but you're doing the work that makes your soul happy. You're aligned with that, and spirit saying, "Keep going. You've got the success you want coming here. Um, blessings and a miracle might be happening here. Some type of an opportunity." Tell me about the Ace of Pentacles, please. The Ace of Wands. It's the Queen of Pentacles here. Two of Cups, the connection. The Page of Cups, um, this is a beginning love connection. And the Fool, getting ready to take a leap of faith of some kind. Tell me more about the Fool. King of Cups. the High Priestess. Okay. <laughs> As I stop shuffling, Archangel Michael is here on the bottom saying, stay patient, stay calm, let's stay balanced, keep moving forward, let this energy come to you when the time is right, but do not give up here, okay? I'm feeling a real big energy of do not give up, that all is not as it seems right here. That you have something special coming in for you here. And it's just 
staying patient, I think, right now, okay? So let's um, get an outcome. We'll go back to our original deck here. Okay, Spirit Guides, what's the outcome here of today's reading? Eight 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 and two 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 are big in this reading today. When I stop shuffling, we have the Knight of Swords on the bottom of our deck. And that was like our first card out here, the Knight of Swords, this truthful energy coming into you at some point. have the high priestess here and this is um, someone who watches and waits um, they pay attention to energy they they watch what's going on they make their own um, interpretations they go within you know they're often very psychic right um, all-knowing they just know things sometimes they don't even know how they know it and then we have the two of swords Someone who's tossing big ideas around in their head. Maybe not making a decision, but that's always making a decision, isn't it? Justice is coming in here. We have the King of Pentacles. Our grounded, um, mature, loving, nurturing king here. Seven of Swords. This is someone in... Um, aligned spiritually this could be someone in self-protective mode um, protecting their energy four of swords somebody um, healing their heart and we have this energy of our queen of cups she's done healing her heart right she's um, moving past that energy and we have the emperor here so maybe this is his heart Maybe he's um, still healing his heart. And he's in the hermit energy. Going within, shining his light. Nine of cups, he's seeing wish fulfillment. Nine of swords, up in his head, right? Really thinking, overthinking, worried, confused, regretful. Seven of Cups, realizing there's choices and opportunities out there in the world. I want to make a good choice for myself, something that's going to bring me wish fulfillment. Five of Pentacles, feeling left out, abandoned, forgotten about, left behind. Hierophant is here, 
This is about commitments and agreements in our lives. It's our standards, our values, the roles we play, our conduct, our morality. The sun, happiness, joy, illumination, clarity, the yes card, chariot, balanced forward movement. Um, with justice coming in for you, you're staying strong and you're staying on this path this that you've been on. You're just going to keep moving on it, okay? So that's what I have for you now. Um, so... You might have um, some more um, these opportunities coming in, right? The um, Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Wands. So let's take Sacred Destiny and get you some higher level energies for today's reading. Spirit guides, what can we show the collective today? What energies are at work in their life? Okay, bottom of the deck is community. And you may be part of a community. You may be seen as a leader in a community. Um, maybe where you work, where you volunteer, um, where you worship, in your very neighborhood, within your family structure. You could be part of a community that's growing. Okay, let's see what we have here. And so these are the energies that are around you or about to come into you on this path that you're on. Spirit's saying, hang on, don't give up on it. Got some opportunities coming. Leadership, okay. You're going to be stepping into more of a leadership role, okay. Um, maybe that's the opportunity that will come in. It will be around a leadership opportunity. Miracles. <laughs> this is the second miracle reference here. So you may have something unknown, some great opportunities coming in here. We have security. Maybe you're worried about your safety and security, your stability. Spirit saying, hang on, there's a change coming based on your hard work and your diligence. Trust, right? Trust the divine. Trust what you've been manifesting. Trust um, all that you're doing. Trust yourself. Okay? Trust the people around you. Stillness. Spirit saying, get still so you can communicate with your higher self so that we can come in and give you the messages you need. Delight. Life is going to be delightful. Let it be delightful, okay? Welcome that kind of energy into your life. Relaxation. The Spirit wants you to relax, to calm down, and just rest, and know that everything is going to be okay. Voyage. You're on a, a journey here, right? You're just on this peaceful, spiritual journey in your life, I think. Um, you've answered this call in your life. It's making you very happy. Um, you're you're worried about you're worried about it though. Here, when we look at this call answer, 
you've got this choice coming with the lovers and it's it's bothering you it's really disturbing you because you know this path is your happiness it makes you happy and spirit saying hold on you've been diligent you're doing the work let it it takes time um, protection uh, you're spiritually protected while you're doing this work your family is safe you don't have to worry There's opportunities coming in, right? Be ready to take them when they come in. Pay attention to what's going on around you. Take those opportunities. Diligent, stay diligent, stay on path. Keep doing the work. Keep putting the effort in. The energy of love is around you. Um, maybe you're in a new beginning love situation here and you're healing your heart you know what you want you know who you want to be with you know what you want to grow in your life this three of pentacles energy and happiness right let that happiness come in okay that's the reading i have for you today um stay committed stay diligent on your path Answer that calling in your life. Let this love blossom in your life. And uh, expect uh, a miracle or two, some blessings to come into your life. Because you are exactly where you need to be. Okay? That's the reading I have for you today. Thank you for being here and supporting the channel. I appreciate your views, your likes, your shares, your comments. It's just a, a pleasure to be reading for you. And I hope you find this reading helpful on your journey, and I will see you in the next reading. Take care, everyone. Bye-bye.